Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another episode on the channel. As you guys can see, we have... Is that... Is that a Yamaha? Is that a Yamaha? We're gonna be doing a big setup to this Yamaha right here. Wheel, valve train, cams, the whole shebang. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride on this one. Next thing we got going on is gonna be the 21, man. We're sticking this motor back in. Oh, by the way, we got a new employee. New face, who this? start doing the tear down on the Yamaha GP1800 so we got to remove all of this stuff intake manifold all that stuff's got to come out in order for us to do the valve train the cam and then uh, you know once we finish that we're gonna move on to probably the fuel setup get the fuel pump removed do the 450 install route all the lines uh, and then we're gonna be doing the charger with the wheel the shaft the whole night I just want to show you a little bit of the parts that we're gonna be installing into the Yamaha GP 1800 but we are obviously gonna be doing a bigger wheel for the charger so we do have to run the Riva shaft with that that's gonna be one way that we're gonna bulletproof this motor with the Riva supercharger shaft another thing we're doing this ski does have retainers in it already but it does not have springs it just has the drop-in retainer we are using super tech products here to get new retainers shims and and springs that way we don't have to worry about valve flow another thing we have to do to creating the fuel system so as you can see here we're going to be running a 450 fuel pump 1650 injectors this ski is going to be on the 85 so we need to be able to supply enough fuel for that thing. running an air motive fuel pressure regulator with the gauge setup so we can see where we're at and then all in fittings all that six lines so that's going to complete basically the fuel setup the big thing that's going to make power on this ski right here guys is this wheel here this is a prototype wheel right now we're in the middle of testing this wheel do have to have a three bar map sensor oh and this thing is getting some cams so some vxr cams we're gonna weld up the end caps and throw those in too so let's get this thing going I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. All right, guys, this is the beginning of the process on getting this valve train and the cams installed. You have to remove the valve cover, so you, obviously you have access to the top of the engine, and you have to remove the intake manifold. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it so much easier to work with the tensioner down here. Next step is removing this chain tensioner, getting the cams removed, put on the Revo tool to take off all the valve train, install the SuperTech valve train. Angel should have the cams welded up by then, install the cams, and then just keep on going at the process. Everything is on me, go and back it up. All right guys, so basically the next process is setting up the Reva valve tool. Uh, these two will go at the ends there. You got the bar in the middle to hold your tool to compress the valve springs. And then you have this to hold your chain and everything. So a lot of people do this a certain way. Your way might be right, my way might be right. I don't think there's a right or a wrong way. It's just get it done, right? Uh, one thing I like to do is catch top dead center before I start the process. That way, when I'm done with everything, I don't have to sit there and spin the motor trying to figure out top dead center. I'm gonna go ahead and start ripping out all these buckets, getting the valve train removed. I like to pull one bucket at a time. Each bucket has a shim under it. If you lose that shim, the ski's gonna start misfiring and running like crap. Hey, Travi! Hi, Bradley. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's like a LeBron James. <laughs> hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's All right, guys, there's nothing right? special to this. There's no special tools. You literally just gotta get a pair of vice grips. You're gonna grab the cam there, and then what you gotta do is get the slack out of this chain. So you wanna put the chain on the gear and then move the cam to that dot. So, I'll show you how this is done. All right, now with the slack taken out on this side, you could come here and check this. And as you can see, it's pretty much on the money so what you do with this is you throw a zip tie in that little hole right here to hold the chain down because if I let this go it's just gonna pop back 
So I'm gonna do that process real quick and then we'll move on to the intake camp. All right, so you're gonna line up this dot right here with this little notch on the back of the camp cap. So basically just grab your vice grip, uh, throw it on your cam, and then the idea is to get this slack out. So as you can see, when you move this guy over, this way, your slack is coming out. That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? I don't know how I'm gonna show you how to do this, but basically you just gotta rotate it all the way down and then clip it. So I'm gonna try to get on video. Alright guys, with this all set up, you can go ahead and cut off your zip ties and throw these things away in the trap. So after this is cut up here, you can go ahead and put your valve cover back on, strap all this down. Alright guys, just want to do a quick startup on this thing before I continue doing the fuel setup. So we're going to go ahead and show you. I just have the intercooler stuff, everything's off. I wanted to prime the oil to go into the charger and through the lines. So everything's primed up, ready to go. I'm going to start it up so you guys could hear it. Don't mind the fuel beeper. It's, uh, it's beeping away, that's for sure. Check it out. sounds rowdy man i'm gonna go ahead and get this fuel pump taken out i'm gonna start getting the 450 put in there mod up the housing get everything done that we have to do for that and bump this thing down and then we're going to brian's gotta shave the hole gotta tune it and see what kind of numbers we get out of that thing well guys these are not jet skis but we are gonna fly to a jet ski in tampa had a little issue with one of my customers flash a ski for some reason, his ski is not starting up now. I made a little phone call to my boy, Amayo. His name's Amil, I just say Amayo because it's funny. So I called my boy Amayo. Oh, we in the video. And uh... All up in the video? All up in the video, man! Video again? <laughs> Yo, this is an honor, B. It's an honor to be in your video. What bro. do you mean? It's an honor to be in your plane. You know? Yo, so we're gonna get in this plane. We're gonna fly to Tampa. I'm gonna fix my customer's ski and we're gonna fly right back and get right back to work at the show. See you guys in the air. In the air. Hi right, guys, just got off the airplane. We are walking into Tampa Executive. Why are you recording? Why are you recording if I'm recording? recording? We got, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Come here, give me a kiss. <laughs> so Mill's got a YouTube channel as well for all his angel flights. So you guys got to check that out. I'll put a link in the description. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to come out here, flash the ski real quick. Make sure I get the bugs worked out of there. And then head back to, head back to Fort Myers and get in the shop and keep working, unfortunately. How you guys doing? These people are like, F these guys, f assholes, rich ass, mother ass bitches. All right, guys, just like that, the ski is back up and running. We're gonna go ahead and get on the plane, head back to Fort Myers, and get back to work. Customer service at its finest, people. If you ain't got people like this dealing with you, then find another mechanic. All right, guys, just like that, we're back on the plane, headed hey, to the that shop. Was pretty, that was pretty cool. And I'm recording right now, man. Now? What is this, this man? Jesus. Damn. You guys got a YouTube channel, like some jet or something? Keep the same energy. Work on being better when I'm 70. 
your drip is just a water spring You know I drip different, this the seven seas I deal with life different, make that limit squeeze Went off with my style and identity Better bounce back and get the cheddar cheese I guess that's why they envy me On track, now we going way up All right, guys, just landed back in Fort Myers. Took us about an hour and a half to do what we had to do. It's a good flight. Very good flight. Very, very good flight. Again. Yo, if you guys are interested in getting reflashed, don't want to send your computer out, don't want to buy the adapter from us, let us know in the comments. We will literally fly out to where you're at and we'll flash your ski right there at whatever airport that we land at. So. Get a group of guys together, make it happen, and we'll fly out there. Right? Why you look so domestic right now? I don't know. So not not domestic. That's lame. Majestic. Why are you looking so majestic? I'm ready to fly. Oh, you ready? ready? Fly. But we just flew. No, I'm ready to fly again. Ah, bueno, let's go. I don't got nothing going on with you. You wanna go? Yeah, All right, let's go. Bravi. Ha ha ha. Alright guys, as you can see, we are about to drop the 21 motor back in there. This is going back in. Hopefully we could uh, get some fire out of this thing today. But my main concern is just getting it in there, buttoning everything up, and making sure there's no issues. Alright man, I'm just getting these packages set up while these guys are grinding away over here. As you guys can see the motor is installed and the open loop setup is also installed so as you can see main line running in to the intercooler everything ran up in there so next step is going to be the intake manifold which has our girdle on there so it doesn't split and then run some fuel lines from the front to the back i've already modified that fuel pump you guys saw that on the uh, previous video so basically just buttoning up the rest of the stuff last thing we're waiting on is the supercharger get modified and yeah we'll be done with this thing get it on the water start testing it what's up bro? <laughs> all right guys as you can see we are currently working on the fuel line setup i'm gonna show you real quick this is the air motor fuel pressure regulator we use that thing is gonna pretty much mount right under here and then we have the return already ran and we're just getting the regular lines pumped up the side here so basically just working on that fuel setup once that's done give it its first start yeah. what are you doing travis uh, sir. a what <laughs> little update i know we talked about everything we did here we finally got the flange for the blow off of we're missing an o-ring here for the bottom of the tile and the last thing that we needed on this ski was the supercharger got the big et 72 142 on there so that thing's ready to make some jam we're gonna get that charger put in here uh our boy travis is coming back for performance plus we need a plug for the fuel pressure regulator and then we should hear this thing fire up all right guys, I wanna show you, we got this thing all buttoned up. Only thing we're waiting on here is gonna be the tile blow off valve. I'm missing the O-ring that allows us to connect it here, but everything else is pretty much done. Fuel pressure regulator, as you can see, all the lines are buttoned up, everything's ready to go. Yo, what do you think? Should we let them hear this thing? This thing sounds so good, dude. Go to the back, bro. Go to the back. I got you. Ready? Ready. <laughs> So yeah, next step on this guy is gonna be taking it out to the water, starting to put it through its paces, see what the AFRs look like, you know, adjust everything we gotta adjust and start seeing what kind of numbers we could do. So 
this is pretty much going to end it for part three on this build the next one will be part four obviously and we're going to be out on the water tuning it making sure that thing is solid before we turn it into our customer so for now we're out of here man we're gonna get back to work i got some yamahas in here we gotta do valve train on so we're gonna jump back on that get the timing settled get this thing started get these skis out of here man catch you on the next episode